So Bill Maher is a man with opinions like me, but sometimes those opinions are really stupid, like this one. Well, half of it, actually. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So Bill Maher is the host of Real Time with Bill Maher on HBO. And there are some of his takes that I do agree with. This isn't me review crap on Bill Maher USA. But then he has that very boomer side of him. Not just with this stuff, but with politics too. I'm not going to get into that with this video. But he had a clip. Someone took a clip, I should say of him giving his take on technology and live streams. Part of it to a degree I agree with the first half, but then he loses me and he just sounds like a boomer that doesn't get it. He's also had a very similar take on cryptocurrency. It's imaginary money. And what is, Bill, what's money to begin with? Money is something imaginary that humans made up, gave something value to so people would actually want to get off their ass and do something. Money in itself is not real. You can't, we only have, money only has value, Bill. I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but I don't care. Money only has value because we give it value. <laughs> it's not real. It just, we just print it. And I know, I know I'm oversimplifying it. I get that review. I know people are going to go in the comments review fifth grade economics, the USA, but it's true though. If, if there's a, a, a nuclear war, what is the money? Are you, you going to just build a shelter out of all the dollar bills you have in your account? Anyway, moving on from that. So he gave his take on people that watch live streams and technology in and of itself like smartphones. And take a look and then we will discuss. Enjoy. You think someone 80 is hopeless because they can't use an iPhone? Maybe the one who's hopeless is the one who can't stop using it. You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch, but I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of f***ing time. All right, even me showing that much of an HBO clip is probably taking a risk, but... I don't understand why people are so concerned with how other people spend their time. Because I know Bill Maher, and I know... Hey, Bill, would you say the same thing about people that sit there and watch reality shows or watch your show that has made you plenty of money? The reality of it is, at the end of the day, is that you could say that pretty much any form of entertainment is a waste of time. People don't go there to watch the games, mostly, you moron. Now, there's there's those exceptions, like I said in my live stream last night. I live stream almost every night starting between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. There are some days I skip, but mostly if you check back on the channel around that time, you'll see my big, beautiful face streaming. But there there are those exceptions where people are just that damn good at a game that they'll want to go watch. But do you think people, Bill, watch Dr. Disrespect because of his Call of Duty skills, which most people would say don't exist? (laughs) No. Do you think think people come to my streams to stare at me because I'm that beautiful? No. No. They go there to interact with people. It's like a talk show, except it's interactive. It's actually a step more interactive than something like calling into the Howard Stern show, which I love the Howard Stern show, you know, because you could sit there and interact with, I I talk to the super chats, the regular chat, and, and you get to have a conversation with people. They go there for the personality of the streamer, not just for the game. The game may be an extra part of it. Like, oh, cool. Rich Review Tech USA is playing a genre of game he hates, a roguelike game called Returnal. Maybe I'll do that, even though I just said on my previous video I won't, because I'm a flip-flopper and I have a chicken on my desk. Do you do you think I'm I'm not insane? But people go to live streams for engagement they go there because it's a way to their whether it be their their favorite youtuber or streamer it's a way for them to talk to them to ha- have fun to sit there and relax most people i know they don't just sit there and stare at their screens bill and go oh i'm gonna do nothing else but watch this guy play call of duty Warzone. a lot of times they'll people tell me oh rich i'm watching your stream while i'm working out i'm watching your stream while i'm doing homework or i'm watching your stream while i'm working or whatever the case may be I don't get why people are judgmental of what other people do with their free time. I always bring up, and I know I said it before, but I'll go more into detail with the example. Let's think really hard about fantasy football. I know people that drive hours 
to go play if do the fantasy football league crap. Let's take it literally what fantasy football is. I'm a grown pretend I don't give a crap about fantasy football, but I'm a grown ass man. Okay. Imagine I told you or my significant other, hi honey, I'm gonna go drive three hours to go play pretend with a bunch of other men. It's literally what you're doing. Will anyone talk crap about that? No, man, because it's about football, and football's full of testosterone and muscles and ah uh, and ooh and e and o oh, and ah. Uh. No one will say a thing about that. Or because TV still is such a boomer norm, like, oh, I sat on my ass all day or, or when I got home from work and watched three hours of reality TV. What do you hear with that? Crickets. Crickets. Because it's socially accepted. It's a norm. But because you have these new, it, it, let, let's face it, as popular as live streaming is, it's still a fledgling form of entertainment. It's new. People are like, what the hell is this? Who sits? Why do you sit there watching other people? Why are you on YouTube watching this large middle-aged bald man talk about Bill Maher? Because it's entertainment, Bill. It's new forms of entertainment. Just like there's new currencies, cryptocurrencies that are out there. I'll agree with you with ones like Come Rocket and Dogecoin. I know people will freak out at me on Dogecoin that the <laughs> Come Rocket especially is probably doesn't have a future, but just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it shouldn't be relevant. I know it's tough to wrap your mind around that, Bill, but the whole world doesn't revolve around you. Now with people not being able to function because they're always on their smartphones, I'm guilty as charged with that one. You got me on that one. You got Carlos too. He's always on his iBird. That's the bird version of an iPhone. He's always like this. He's keeping his hose in check. You're a ladies' man, Carlos. I promised myself I wasn't going to bring the bird into this video, but I can't help it. This is Rich at Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.